And tonight in Hannity's America, now we told you last night about the various French critics of the escalating tax rates right here in the United States. Tonight, another voice joins the European chorus. Now the Czech Prime Minister, who is now serving as the President of the European Union, well, he told the AP that the United States' plan to spend its way out of the current recession is, quote, a way to hell. And that President Obama's stimulus package will, quote, undermine the stability of the global financial market. Now, it's a sad and scary day in America when European leaders are lecturing our president on the virtues of the free market. Also, China is doing this. And based on what we've seen from the Obama administration, well, we may have many more lectures from these very wise gentlemen in our near future. And last night, President Obama tried once again to convince the American people that he has an effective plan to jumpstart the economy. And in case you dozed off in the middle of all of this, we're going to replay the crucial part for you because President Obama is getting tonight's liberal translation treatment. The first step we took was to pass a recovery plan to jumpstart job creation and put money in people's pockets. <laughs> This plan's already saved the jobs of teachers and police officers. It's creating construction jobs to rebuild roads and bridges. And yesterday I met with a man whose company is reopening a factory outside of Pittsburgh that's rehiring workers to build some of the most energy efficient windows in the world. And this plan will provide a tax cut to 95% of all working families that will appear in people's paychecks by April 1st. All right, we look forward, Mr. President, to having you back on Liberal Translation after your next failed attempt to convince the American people that bankrupting our children and grandchildren is actually a great idea. Now, the cloud of controversy hanging over the head of Connecticut Senator Chris Dodd just won't seem to go away. Now, the senator's troubles began when we learned of the VIP mortgage rates that he received from a company that he would later help bail out. And the Hartford Current reports that this was not the first time Mr. Dodd has received preferential treatment when purchasing a home. About a decade ago, he purchased this massive home in Ireland, which he refers to, by the way, only as a cottage. The senator bought it with a friend for, according to his Senate records, between $100,000 and $250,000. Now jump ahead to 2001, when an associate of the co-owner of Dodd's home received a pardon from then-President Bill Clinton, allegedly at the urging of Senator Dodd. What happened? Well, not long after the pardon, surprise, 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 well, the co-owner of the home sold his share to Dodd for a very generous $122,000, only slightly more than its value eight years earlier, and despite the surge in the Irish real estate market. And the hits just keep on coming. Real Clear Politics reported earlier this week that Dodd's wife served as a director for an AIG-controlled insurance company from 2001 to 2004. Now, quite an interesting turn of events, Mr. Dodd. Last week, it sounded to me like you'd never even heard of AIG before. And I'm not surprised you're finding yourself in some re-election trouble. And finally tonight, Bernie Madoff, well, he may now be behind bars for the rest of his life for duping hundreds of his clients out of their life savings. But believe it or not, the evil billionaire was actually responsible for a little bit of good recently. One lucky man said he read about a, the story of Mur uh, Madoff sentencing in the newspaper and decided to play the last three digits of Madoff's prison ID number in the evening lottery. And on March 15th, the lucky number 054 hit for a construction worker from Queens, New York. But the AP reports that he wasn't the only one with the idea. Get this, a total of 500 other tickets also had Madoff's prison number that very day, and they were also winners. Which, according to lottery officials, is actually a common phenomenon. And they point to the recent miracle on the Hudson as an example, saying that after that event, so many people bought lottery tickets using that flight number that sales were actually stopped. Well, that may not be enough to get made off off the naughty list, but at least it's a story.